start to pack his trainers. Haven't you? So it looks like I'm wearing Crocs all bloody weekend. <laughs> Apparently it's my fault that he's not packed his trainers. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to the channel, folks. We are off to Newcastle this weekend. The girls have got a singing experience, so they're going to be recording a pop song tomorrow. And then there's just a little bit of a run that I've got to do on Sunday. It's only half marathon. In 25 degree heat in a September heat wave. Easy peasy, eh? It's fine because I'll be sat at the finish line and we're drinking nice cold beer. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to drive home afterwards as well by the sounds of it. <laughs> <laughs> At least I've got a shower for when I'm done. Uh, but yeah, weather is actually beautiful. Yeah. It's going to be a you lovely see, sunset. Look, roads aren't too bad touch wood. They have been. There's been bits where it's been a bit thing, but yeah. Well, the roads are full of motorways, they're all full of camper vans and caravans, so everyone's obviously getting away for the weekend because of the weather. Yeah. We've got the girls in the back that are fast asleep, or one of them is. I'm not asleep. Say hello. Hello. Valentine is asleep, I'm not. <laughs> so they've picked the songs that they want to sing for tomorrow. We're going to try and get a park up and just stay parked up for a couple of days, aren't we? Right, so this is it. Last training run before the big race. Well, not race. I'm not racing anybody apart from myself. Um, but the big run on Sunday. 10.3 uh, miles today. Then I've got myself six days rest before the half marathon is on Sunday. Obviously, Great North Run on TV. May or may not see me. Lots and lots of people going and uh, running in there. But yeah last run yeah it's hot what a week to have a heat wave yeah i'm going out running 10.3 miles i've got two of these little water things i filled them right to the brim because it's already if i just te check the temperature 22 degrees uh it is 10 to 11 the race on Sunday starts at 11, so I thought best get acclimatised to this, long run, similar kind of temperatures. Uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. Well, I can only say that was awful. Running in 25 degree heat is not the one. This is the first time where I've been thinking, oh shit, about Sunday now. Lots of lessons learned. Obviously, there's water stations on route. I've only had these two little 400, well, 200 mil packs of 400 mil in total. And this is the route I did. 10.4 miles.
guys, um, it's me, Kerem. This is the park up we're at for the next few nights. And there's the pub that like, we, we tried to go to, but they just, we got one drink, but they didn't serve any food there last night, so. Well, they did, we just got there really late. Yeah. And then, but over there's the beach, which we're going to show you later. Here's the van, obviously, the beautiful site. And that, that, that weird van. And then over there where all those tents are is where the finish line is for the Great North Run. So we're going to have a wander down to the beach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah there, everyone will be wondering why is that, why is that kid holding a GoPro? <laughs> oh well. Yeah, the parents let us, so why not? I think it's while they're like setting like the van up so we can like yeah, so in the van out before we go. Yeah, because we have like a singing thing. I don't know if they told you. Yes, they did tell them in the intro because did we're they? recording songs. Oh yeah, right. Oh yeah, you know when I said last night about that netball thing? Yeah, it is just... It's not netball. Yeah. It's volleyball, right? It's volleyball. You know because you volley it. Yeah. Guys, that's the beach. It's not as many people as there was last night, but okay. Yeah, last night there were people having like fires. fires. That ice cream is still there. What? The ice cream. Oh yeah, guys, we saw ice cream um, last night and it's not gone. I'll just say that. <laughs> Alright, and then show them the lighthouse. Right. Guys, look at the dog. Oh, uh, anyways, there's the lighthouse spinning around. Good morning. I believe these two have already given you a little bit of a tour yeah. around where we're parked up. That's where, hopefully, I'll be crossing the line a little bit later on. Uh, well, tomorrow. Cold. Yes. Um, yeah, so finish line just over there with all the, uh, all the charity tents. Have we told you about? Oh, apparently you've already been told. We're just on our way to the... Where are we going now? We're going, we're going to, to our singing thing. thing. <laughs> 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 Have you been practising that? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're just walking to the metro um, and with these two little nutters. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we'll let that. you know how it goes. Well, I thought it goes free. I'm not. We're on the metro, aren't we? You're very impressed, aren't you? He's, he's Eugene right now. It's a right day out, this is, isn't it? <laughs> Loving this trap, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Take us back to the V-dubs, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Are you going to stop talking today? No, she might guys. She's singing. Flipping hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Friggin' motor mouth. She hasn't stopped talking since she opened her eyes. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> me knows that I do not do public transport now that was the worst and dirtiest train I've ever been on it was rickety I didn't feel safe I felt like it was gonna derail it was going to it's a princess it it was filthy it's a bit excessive. I didn't want to touch anything because it was just disgusting I didn't know how to work the ticket machine it's a road leg shop there. <laughs> I didn't know how to get out of the barrier because the ticket machine was being stupid. 
Because apparently you're meant to put your ticket in the top, in the side, you don't scan. In the front of it and take it out the top? In the front and then take it out the top, you can't scan your ticket. What kind of prehistoric age is that? If we'd have come out of that entrance, <coughs> would you remember? No, and we've just been in a brilliant um, um, department store called you Fenix. Think, Look at that. If you'd have seen that transport, you wouldn't have seen that shop. Yeah, it was a good shop. Could have spent a fortune in there. Dad kept being mean to me. He kept pulling faces at me in the reflection. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, um, awful, awful. Sorry, Newcastle, but yeah, you need to sort your metro out, man. You need some better trams. So we've uh, just stopped here for a quick lunch pit stop. Um, some Greek. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. It's, it's called the Real Greek. And the Real Greek, it looks quite nice. There's not many people here, but um, sat outside. We'll have a look, see what the food looks like. But the service is pretty good, isn't it? Mm. The kids have had uh, mezes. We've had mezes. Kerry's a bit peed off because she can't have a glass of wine because she's doing the run tomorrow. I've got a nice cold beer. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's got an orange juice. Kerry's got some water. Kerry's has got some water. It's not water. I've got lemonade, not water. She's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got lemonade? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. all right. Kira's got lemonade. Looks like water. Anyway, we'll uh, see what the food looks like when it comes out. What's that? Prawns. Well, so far, the food is quite nice, isn't it? Yep. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I took the supermarket flowers from the windowsill. I threw the day old tea from the cup. Packed up the photo album. Georgia. Wrap me up in all your. So that was a really good experience, wasn't it, girls? Yeah. yeah. Did you enjoy that? I'd highly recommend that. If um, if there's anybody, um, anybody really for anybody. Apparently, Sam Fender recorded in there. Mm. Um, but the wow. girls did a really good job. I'm surprised. You know, I'd be I'd be absolutely cacking my pants doing that. Might use it some of our theme music, might we? Yeah. Use some snippets. We could use it because we got the copyright of that, haven't we? Sure. No, we haven't. Because oh yeah, we can. Yeah. But we could use it. On uh, on some of our intro or something maybe, but yeah no that was a really good crack. <laughs> so what's the name of the studio called again? Loft Studio in Newcastle. So Loft Studio Newcastle. Um, if you got if you want to do something different, you know they'll do it for all ages. Um, but yeah it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, I think now we're just going to head down to the quayside and have a drink because uh, it was rather hot in there. Um, and then we're going to head back to the van possibly have a walk on the beach um, so we'll catch you when we get back there The 
girls have had a cracking day doing their recording studio. Yeah, we've already told you about that, haven't we? No, as we were walking around after they've done the recording, we will stick some fit, some pictures in as well. Took some pictures of them in the booth with the headphones on and everything. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting on those songs to be emailed through. Girls have gone down to the little fun fair that you've seen on the drone footage um, that Matt did the other day, last night. I've just got some meatballs on. So, pasta and meatballs, night before Great North Run. Good bit of, um, well, good all round meal to be fair. Uh, Matt says he doesn't really want much, much, much pasta, he's more interested in just having the meatballs. I've not got the peppers and onions that I normally put in because it's just too much faff, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we'll just see how that goes. It, it's flying his drone again, some of the other people this this park up is rammed you know because it's right on the finish line of the great north run um it is absolutely rammed yeah if i just take you outside for a second look van after van after van after van after van that's us there next to the service spot these are reserved for the staff of the uh, restaurant but yeah, it's uh, the right park up. We did the right thing getting here last night. People have been struggling a little bit to get parked up today. People have been very jealous of our spot, but that's just the way it is. Matt's chatting to someone about his drone. Um, so he's having fun, the girls are having fun at the fair. I'm getting dinner on, just chilling out. Might read my book for a bit, but yeah, all good. Two, I think, is a estimated time of arrival. So we're just heading off to the meeting point. Meet her with a cold bottle of water. Even though she's probably had one, but she'll love having a bottle of water, even if it's over her head. Um, yeah, and we'll catch up when we get to Keza. So we didn't manage to find her, but she's back. I got my medal. Woo! -hoo. Well done, Keza <laughs> I have sat down now, though. I think I deserve to sit down. Yeah, you're going to be aching. <laughs> Apparently, she was running with the Marines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from mile one to nine, running with the Marines. Hey, well done, baby. 